What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the... Welcome to the video, everybody. My name is Eight Thoughts, and I hope you all doing pretty well. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for uh, coming by and uh, checking out my video here. And I know this video is going to be decisive. I know some of you are going to totally agree with me, and a lot of you are going to be like, you know what, Eight Thoughts, you're just a hater. Oh my God, Eight Thoughts, you're a loser. Make that money. Stop being a hater because you don't have blue hair and a Red Bull sponsorship. And those people are morons. I'm sorry. Sorry. If you don't agree with this video, I'm telling you right now, you're not a good person. And that's not even a joke. There's no hyperbole, no sarcasm there. I know I'm a king of hyperbole and sarcasm and miss, people missing that joke. This is not a joke. You're an idiot if you don't agree with this video. Trust me on this. So, you know, YouTubers out here, right? I, I think a lot of them are douchebags. I think a lot of them are just, you know, completely not exactly what we call good people. And I'm not saying the people that I'm going to talk about in this video aren't good people. Well, maybe some of them are. Sup, you beautiful bastard. But... I, I just, I wanted to get this off my chest and I wanted to put it out there in the ethers and I just wanted to discuss this because this is something that bothers me. What it is is the greed of these YouTubers and then on top of that, the stupidity of people who buy into it and don't see what exactly is going on. And this all started and I thought about this video this morning by watching, you know, the number two news source. Pew News next to 8 News here. And I was watching his video. And in this video, hey, look at that. It's 8 Thoughts. That's my video. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye's Cloak Scam Clothing Company. That's my video being featured in the number 2 news source, Pew News. And and basically, he was talking about, you know, how people are upset about Markiplier and Jacksepticeye's Clothing Company and how it's a ripoff. And if you don't know about it or whatnot, real quick, you know, here, they're selling overpriced clothing with very minimalistic design, like 85 bucks for a hoodie. And PewDiePie goes on this video to kind of pretty much defend him. He's saying that, you know, that's, you know, it's fine. You know, I can understand they have a young fan base and you know people might think it's too much and they really want to wear the clothing and it's it's all just nonsense right and then you know of course PewDiePie out here has to plug his merch as well I was just thinking how much money and how do these people need like how much greed do people have like if you don't know PewDiePie's net worth is 61 million dollars lowball and you're probably thinking, oh, yeah, you're eight thoughts. What do you know? You don't know what you're talking about, eight thoughts. You're an idiot. It's, it's really simple. A real quick Google search will show you. Like, you can find it without any issues whatsoever. Like, you know, you can find it from Forbes to this company. Code predicts his net worth at the beginning of 2018 to be $61 million from combined earnings of $124 million since 2010. They estimate he has cleared at least $9 million a year from advertising earnings on YouTube channel. Yeah, so that's just advertised earnings, right? That's not actually, you know, considering all his, like, mobile game he was selling, his merch, his wife's merch, that they work together on a different company um is paid you know product placement all that kind of stuff that makes hundreds of thousands of dollars per video if you don't know that's why mr beast does those videos as well and how he you know, can give away so much money he gets paid like a hundred twenty thousand dollars per video from those advertisers plus on top of that the ad revenue comes from those videos so when you're making two hundred thousand or a hundred thousand dollars for a sponsorship and then you're giving away thirty thousand you're still taking in 70 so i'm just saying but like yeah Trust me, I know. I've been doing YouTube for a long time. It's very easy to tell. It's very easy to figure out how much money these people are actually making. 61 is a low ball. That's all I'm saying. So, yes, my point is, is that these guys make so much money and, you know, then they have to go out here and, like, basically, you know, want to make more. They're extremely greedy. Like, I got to sell my merch at such a high price. And then we got PewDiePie here. And this was us thinking as well. Like, this guy is super rich. These guys, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, they're almost about as rich as him. Not, you know, not quite, but Markiplier makes $10 million a year from ad revenue. Jacksepticeye, right behind that. And those aren't made up numbers. There aren't fabrications. Like I said, I'm a YouTuber. Anyone knows how much they're making. We all know how much everyone else is making. It's very simple. It's not a hard figure to figure out, you know, there's CPMs, there's ad revenues, there's brand deals. We all know how much someone else is making. And then I was thinking like, damn, dude, this is why it's annoying. Like, you don't need to make that much money. You don't need to make any more money. How much money do people need? PewDiePie here, $61 million low ball sitting there. Like that's, that's, that's cash bros. That's like just bank accounts with massive investments and properties around the world. I assume. I mean, and then, and then what he, he has his merch. Why, why do these people, and the point I'm trying to get to here, need more money? Why can't you just give your merch away? You've already made so much money. You're so rich. You don't need any more. Why would you not just give back to the people that made you rich? Like, why would you not just sell your merch at cost? Why not sell almost everything you have at cost? You don't, can't acquire any more money to spend. Like, 
I don't understand that greed, that mindset at this point. Like, give something to the people that gave so much to you. And of course, people out there are like, yeah, get that money. Thoughts, get that cash. You're just a hater. Let them get all the money they can. Yeah, get money, get that money. Like, no, no, you're a moron. If you think that way, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a line in the sand. You're a greedy, absolute dumb individual. Like, no much money you make, no matter how much money you make, it doesn't fill any hole in your soul. It doesn't make you happy. It ain't going to make your life better. Millions and zillions of stupid studies have been done. And everyone knows about it. It's super simple to find your quality of life and your feeling of like well-being and how happy you are. It, it doesn't actually get any better once you make more than $80,000 a year. If you think I'm joking, I'm not. Because I know a lot of you people don't have any freaking brain cells to figure this out. But watch this. Quality of life based upon wealth. So many studies done. Here's how much money you need to be happy, according to a new analysis by wealth experts. And there's also another study that was done most recently where they had like hundreds of thousands of people, you know, around the world. And it just proves that money doesn't buy happiness. So like, you know, how much money do you need to be happy? This has been disproved by science, at least up to a point. The experts say that happiness does increase with wealth, but to the correlation peaks at earning of 75000 per year. I mean, there's huge studies here. It's just ridiculous. You can find these all over the place, anywhere. References, different studies by different organizations, by different, you know, universities, by different psychology psychology uh, experiments and whatnot and they all come to the same freaking point that eight oh hey by the way there's there's another douchebag we'll get in him in a second it all comes to the same point eighty thousand dollars or so a year american or whatever and that at that point you will not receive any more happiness so 61 million dollars a year for our boy pewdiepie and markiplier and all these people selling merch at ridiculous amounts of money and prices trying to make more money you know what i don't, I don't know what charities i looked into it i can't find any money that they've actually donated to the charities from their own pocket which is inconsequential anyways that's just a that's just a um a red herring of an argument doesn't negate the fact of like, you know, that they're still taking money and like, look at this, look at this guys, look at all these freaking sponsorships, look at all these, all these things to help make more money. And if I was even making a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars a year, I would never sell merch at a cost or as a profit to myself. And at this point, I don't make, I don't even sell my merch as is as a profit. Like I have it almost as low as possible, like like five bucks a shirt. And I, I, these guys make more money on one video than I make in like a three, four month period doing YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? Like their entire earnings from one video, it, it, it dwarfs my earnings in months. So um, I would sell it at cost. And I understand why these people still feel the need through the greed to make more money, to keep, you know, pimping themselves out, you know, whoring themselves out. Like three days left on my merch, Elgato green screen sponsored printers there's the stories oh suki that's his clothing line with his wife oh my god cloak oh yeah he's even he's even freaking trying to pump up his friend's freaking bs clothing line which is a complete joke become a sponsor like yeah pay more money to a millionaire merch oh my god submit your memes so you can help make my videos for me and my editors will do all the work and i still make thousands of dollars per video again more freaking you know suki is ad for his headphones his setup oh my god more merch you know get more money clutch chairs clutch chairs you know clutch chairs make more money animation done by this guy there's a song by the person who wrote the actual work from his videos now and i know a lot of dumb people watch this video like you're just hate they thought because you don't have blue hair and a red bull sponsorship and making lots of money and like for those people watching that video i'm sorry there is a line being drawn in the sand like i said before you're a moron you're wrong i'm right there is no discussion here in any way whatsoever if anyone out there has like two brain cells and an ability to critically think there's no way you don't agree with what I'm saying here. And I know a lot of people don't, and you're an idiot. That's just what this is all about. These people and the entire world of entertainment is based upon making money off you morons. That is the point I'm going to try to get to here that hopefully you have figured out. Yes, you're a moron. If you donate to Ninja on his live streams to get his attention, that guy is making if not more than these guys now with his sponsorships. If you donate to people like that, that's your own choice. But a fool and his money are soon departed. You're an idiot. You're being scammed. You're being ripped off. You're it is like, you know, hey, do whatever makes you happy, right? Yeah, no, no, no. That's a nonsense excuse. Red herring argument again. Point is, is that these guys are greedy YouTubers in general. And I oh yeah, let me, let me just get to the last person, one of the one of the one of the biggest ripoffs ever, which I forgot almost about here. Our boy Philip DeFranco with a Patreon who has eleven thousand people donating to him at a minimum of five dollars. That's that's six sixty thousand dollars a month there. You know what I'm saying? Right there. That's over sixty thousand. That's over seven hundred something thousand, sixty seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Quick mass. Psh, 
uh, that he just gets for doing nothing really for making YouTube videos that get ad revenue, that get advertising payment on them. Like, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but he has like paid like, you know, Hey, check out better health or whatever that ripoff was as well, that he made a ton of money that he was a part owner in apparently. And that is like a low ball. So at the end of the day, he's making over a million dollars for people donating to a guy that already makes millions of dollars doing YouTube videos for what was supposed to be the Franco elite, which was supposed to help him create more news and have, you know, freedom to be, I guess, more, uh, left, whatever it is to be able, I don't know, because you're supposed to be getting hit by demonetization, which isn't true because you watch his videos, they get monetized most of the time. And then, you know, PewDiePie, of course, wants to tell you he doesn't get monetized, which is nonsense because as soon as his videos don't get monetized, he takes them right off the freaking air instantly. Like, yeah, because, you know, it's all about cashing in, right? They, they, they got to make more money, got to make more money, need more money. Oh, yeah, you know, got to fill that hole in my soul. And all these guys, dude, just scumbags. Honestly, I'm just, they are. They're just, they're just like, they're not scumbags. I mean, they're not out there like robbing grannies at casinos, but they... They're just like, I don't know, I mean, losers, um, something wrong with them, defective human beings, uh, just, I don't, I don't know. They just, they obviously feel as if, uh, making all this money and, you know, getting rich and I guess, I don't know, getting more money is somehow, I guess they're part of their existence, which is, uh, pretty BS and we all know it is. And like I said, if you disagree with this video, no, you're wrong. This, this, there is no, there is no judgment here. There's no, there is no, rather, there is no room for, uh, any kind of a conversation about it. These guys are greedy sons of bitches. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let's go T-Series. Yeah, let's pass up PewDiePie. Let's get our major incorporation up in there in the top spot of YouTube, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, brings this video to an end. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, hey man, subscribe. Help let me get to $60 million per year earnings and become a super rich YouTuber and sell you overpriced crappy merch to help make even more money and enter my 10% discount code. I'm a greedy son of a bitch. And last but not least, and most importantly, smash that like button. Appreciate that if you could do that. But really, most importantly though, and last but not least, I need you all to stay black. Don't talk to crack a rip to the sheep shit to build them a base heart. The spank kept on that little judge and do that. Some people broke the little bit of the house and the delay is voice from Parkgate White Man. Bring it down. Thank you for watching. Take care.